So we'll list a whole bunch of innovations, and then when you add them up, you get a total uh, improvement in uh, energy density and cost. The 4680 battery technology is considered a revolutionary change in the conventional battery system and has made a big splash in the electric car world. Elon Musk is currently making a performance breakthrough for the next generation of 4680 battery cells that no other automaker can match. So what improvements does it entail? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Meanwhile, welcome back to our channel. If you're new, we'd appreciate it very much if you would subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you won't miss out on any interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started on today's content. And it sounds, I think it may sort of sound a bit silly to some people, but <laughs> this was, this is like, if for people that really know cells, this is a massive breakthrough. The first generation of 4680 has a 98 watt hour power density. The second generation with improvements is expected to deliver higher power to 108 watt hours in 2023 and 118 watt hours, which is a 9.3 increase from 108 in 2024. Tesla engineers are working on engineering better batteries rather than working on extracting materials from the earth, so costs will be significantly reduced. As you know, the 4680 battery costs $132 per kilowatt hour in 2021. Tesla has kept the actual cost of his battery of its battery pack a secret, but at the beginning of this year, Musk previously revealed that the first generation of 4680 battery was down to about $50 to $55 per kilowatt hour. With the next generation, costs will drop another 56%, which means you only need to pay about $21.20 per kilowatt hour. As battery technology improves, the battery for an EV for a range of about 300 miles may end up costing just a few thousand dollars. Next, Tesla's battery researchers have taken another critical step in developing durable batteries. According to some reports, the new developed nickel-based batteries can last for 100 years, which means that EVs don't need to replace batteries as often, can save a lot on battery replacement costs, and are very environmentally friendly. A former Tesla employee seems to confirm the new 4680 pack is capable of charging faster than the pack Tesla uses to power the Model Y long range. Twitter user Colin Calvert used that information to construct a very helpful graph that reveals the new battery pack continues to charge at 50 kilowatts even after the battery reaches 80 degrees SOC. Furthermore, the 4680 cells and structural battery pack design were expected to increase vehicle range by as much as 54%, with dual motor Model Y specs of 279 miles range per charge on a full battery. So, with the next generation of 4680 packages, the vehicle's range will increase to 429.66 miles. The level of safety is what every customer is concerned about because we are all afraid of fire incidents. It's very good news then to say that this pack is very rigid and good from a safety standpoint, but has zero repairability. Now, I bet you're curious about the production of the next generation of the 4680 battery cells, so let me clue you in. The process of tearing apart the Tesla Model Y structural battery pack is a relatively difficult process. After opening the lid of the pack, they have the use of a rented dry ice blaster, which allows them to remove the pink polyurethane foam gradually. Under the foam, there are Tesla's 4680 type cylindrical battery cells, arranged in four distinct modules in this structural pack, rather than all of the cells being in one big brick. The barriers in between may be a fiberglass-like material, which could be for the thermal runway mitigation. This was cleverly done, and we think the chances of thermal issues with this pack may be less than the competition. On top of the cell are some 3D connected plates, one for the positive and one for the negative electrode, which are both available from the top of the cell. Battery cell vents are on the bottom. Below the cells are acrylonitrile butadien styrene composite plastic, and a thin layer of mica. The top of the battery enclosure is steel, while the bottom part is aluminum. These batteries are basically going to be recycled into high-grade ore. They're going to be put into a tank of liquid nitrogen, it's going to freeze, and then it's going to be crushed and ground into small fractions. 
They can then separate and sort those elements by part, so it shouldn't be difficult for different recyclers to do this. But then, what is Tesla's strategy for manufacturing batteries? Well, this will be seen as a pivotal moment in transport where, where people you know, finally appreciated that an electric car could be better than a gasoline car. Musk announced that he is working on the Tesla Master Plan Part 3. It's to transform the entire energy infrastructure and transportation infrastructure of the Earth about 300 terawatt hours of installed capacity in vehicles and battery packs. Currently able to produce 39 gigawatt hours annually, Tesla's Nevada Gigafactory would need more than 7,000 years to produce 300 terawatts at that rate. Giga Texas and Berlin will shortly start ramping up their battery production, which will produce about 100 gigawatt hours annually in the near future. Where their 4680 pilot battery line at Fremont at full capacity will be able to produce around 10 gigawatt hours. So everything running at full capacity, Tesla could produce around 249 gigawatt hours of battery per year at their own manufacturing facilities. Obviously, 249 gigawatt hours of batteries produced per year is a huge number, but again, when you put it in terms of 300 terawatt hours, it still takes Tesla over 1200 years to produce such an amount. Additionally, Tesla is undoubtedly aiming for a gigantic output of roughly 20 million automobiles annually by 2030. There will be 1.446 billion vehicles on the planet in 2022. Doing some simple arithmetic, if all 1.446 billion cars were replaced with Tesla Model Y cars, which have batteries with an average capacity of around 75 kilowatt hours, the transition would require roughly 108,450 terawatt hours of battery, leaving you with about 191.55 terawatt hours to store battery or sell to other companies. Are you interested in a little thing called Robo Taxi? It can be the new product that will rely solely on the 4680 battery in 2023. That's all, all coming. So we gotta, uh, this year is all about scaling up, and then uh, next year there's gonna be a massive wave of, of new products. Tesla's robo-taxi would be more efficient and cost-effective as well as make the transition and the mission faster. The operating cost of robo-taxi is low and cheaper than bus tickets. A small vehicle robo-taxi service could cost under 30 cents per mile. And with that, today's episode has come to an end. We sincerely thank you for watching and for all of your support of our channel. And as always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs. And be sure to leave a comment down below to tell us what you thought about today's content. Once again, we thank you so much from all of us here. We hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe.